Listen, I know you all have legitimate gripes with me, but if you just give me a chance... Jake, I think you've used up all your chances. Oh, please. Just let me talk here. I'll tell you all why you're here. What are you doing here? I had Mr. Callison get you down here. Don't touch me. What is this? Some just kind of calm sick down. joke? To show this man is a fugitive from the law? Why is he still free? Why haven't you arrested him? Megan, please. Oh, I'm Megan, not... please. Trust me, please. Let me play the fool. I didn't play you for a fool. I thought we got that straight. Oh, you didn't? Then what is this? Just some big nightmare? I suppose I'm going to wake up and then I'll find that I'm not in prison for something that I didn't do. No. You're not going to prison for something you didn't... You didn't kill Michael. That's what I've been trying to prove all along. No, you haven't. You've been trying to deflect the guilt off of you and onto me. And to make sure that it sticks on me, you dragged me out of Statesville so I would sacrifice any chance I had in an appeal. My intention was only to talk to you. Lucky panic. He drove away. It wasn't my fault. Oh, that's right. Blame it all on Lucky. I mean, it's never your fault, is it? Well, Lucky didn't drag me out of the visiting room. He's not the one who abandoned me at that drive-in. I needed time to prove my theory. Leaving you there was the only choice I had. Well, I don't need your help, Jake. I don't need anything from you. I hate you, and I'm not going to spend one more minute in this room with you. Megan, please, stay. No, I'm not spending one more minute here, either. This is absolutely absurd. No, 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 no. I nobody's have no going anywhere. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you. All right, Jake. Everyone present and accounted for is your show. So why don't you tell us who killed Michael Grant? You're asking Jake who killed Michael Grant? Let's just hear what the man has to say, Megan. You're looking for the truth here, Megan. Oh, I see. And you expect to get the truth from him? He has a theory about the murder, and I agreed to give him an opportunity to prove it, so we're all going to listen to him. Fine, fine. Let's get on with it. Everyone's here. Everyone's not here. There's one very important person missing. All the original suspects are right here. Except for Carlo Hester. And I am positive that he had a contract out on Michael and he's responsible for his death. The murderer has none of the earmarks of a contract killing. Here. Because he planned to get you off track and you fell for it. Is Dorian right? Is Carlo the suspect that is missing? No, Roger Gordon isn't here. Well, why should my father be here? Because the key that I took off of you belonged to Michael. What key? She had a key to Michael's office safe. You had a key to Michael's safe? She didn't know what the key was for, Dorian. All she knew is that her mother took the key off of Roger after Michael had been killed. She wanted something to remember her father by, so Vicky gave it to her. Are you saying that Roger stole the key from Michael? Michael never let that key out of his sight. He wore it on a chain around his neck. Isn't that right, Brenda? Yeah, I, I think I remember uh, a key. Yeah, he wore. I remember oh, sure. for sure. I used to work for Michael. Michael blackmailed me, so I had to work for that man. And I remember once being in his office and seeing him lock that safe with that key. I have no idea why this is important. This is very important, Dorian, because when... Michael was killed. Victoria discovered Roger with that key clutched in his hand and a broken chain. Now, the only way to have been able to get that was to take it from Michael. What are you saying, Jake, that he tore it off Michael's neck? It only makes sense, Dan. Everybody knows that Roger didn't come into the hospital lounge after Michael was shot. He came in here before he was murdered, which means he must have known something about the murder. No, this is ridiculous. He didn't know anything. He was in a hospital bed, practically in a coma when Michael was shot. Megan, I'm trying to save you from a murder rap here. Well, that's great, Jake. We appreciate your concern, but uh, your theory's got more holes in it than Carl's bad cavern. Yeah, son, I don't think, I don't think you're playing with a full deck. And Herb, I'm not too damn sure about you. Now, maybe this fellow's got you suckered into believing that he's got some answers, but he hasn't said anything yet that makes any sense to me at all. All right, well, if you think that Roger has the answers, let's wait till he gets better, and then you can question him. I have a paper to get out, and I cannot waste time with this nonsense. I'll tell you what you want to know. He's still very weak. Roger, there are some things we Back have to Back off, Dorian. Please, I was trying to help. Later, I... later. I'm glad to see that you're all right, but 
Look, you, you shouldn't be out of bed. I think Sarah should take... Why did you bring him here? He insisted. Megan, there's something I have to tell you. No, Dad, look, we'll talk later, okay? When you're stronger. I think we should just take you back to your room now. No. You're responsible for this, aren't you? You told Lucky to go get my father. To hell with Roger's condition. Just drag him here to the lounge. Yeah, right? he didn't say that. You know, you don't have one ounce of decency in your body. Your father can help solve the murder. Jake is just trying to help you. That's ridiculous, Lucky. He was in a coma during the murder. He can't tell you anything about Michael Grand. He didn't go into a coma until after Michael died. And Michael would have never given up that key. He had to take it from him. So what are you saying? What he's saying is that key was very important to Michael. He wouldn't just give it up. He would fight for his life for it. You're accusing my father of killing Michael Grant? That's why you dragged him here to the lounge to accuse him? And you knew all about this and you went along with it? I thought it was important to explore every possibility. Now, Megan, you protested your innocence from the beginning. Right, and Jake has done nothing but to try and make me look guilty. And why? Because of his stupidity? Because of a bad luck on my part? Some twist of fate? No. He deliberately set me up. Megan, just hear me out, okay? What's the matter? Were you afraid that I would get my appeal? That I would go to trial, that I would get acquitted, and then the cops would come after you and figure out that you killed Michael Grant? You just couldn't have that, could you? Huh? So you had to blame somebody else. Put the blame on my father. All I wanted to do was find out the truth. I didn't want to hurt you, especially you, or anybody in your family. You don't care about hurting anybody. The only person you protect is yourself. You ripped that chain off of Michael Grant after you killed him. And then you went to my father's room and you put the chain and the key in my father's hand. My father did not kill Michael Grant. Megan. Dad, don't worry about this. Megan. I will spend every penny I have in the rest of my life to take that. To prove that you are guilty. Megan, just... Let's just take him back to his room. Just listen to me. Jake. Jake didn't kill Michael. I did. That, that's impossible. You were too ill. No, he's confused. He doesn't know what he's saying. Look, I'm putting a stop to this. Honey, take your dad back to the room. We'll call Larry Woolard. No, it's the truth. I have to tell the truth. Roger. Did you see Michael Grand on the night he was killed? Yes. Can you tell us what happened? No, he cannot. He's, he's too weak. Look, I, I have to do it, honey. You have the right to an attorney. I don't want a lawyer. Uh, I was... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I can tell you. Brenda, you don't have to... No, I... I remember. I remember what happened now. Uh, I'm okay, Dan. 